girdle as I understand after the offering someone or something will appear and hopefully this something will guide us don't worry we'll find your own We're not ready to enter trigger words. No one's ever ready to enter trigger words.
explain you just a little bit about the magic carpet. It's not enough just to call for a carpet. It has a unique temper. It should be inspired to go with you. Make it interested through touch. Sometimes the carpet has its own plans and needs to go somewhere. In this case, you can make a deal and visit two places. And sometimes you sit on a carpet and understand that neither you nor the carpet need to go anywhere. And that's a total bliss. Alright, I think we have a contact with the carpet. We're ready to go. We'll go very slow, close to the ground. We won't be able to see trigger words, because it's in between layers of rail. But I'll show you how to make it visible. This forest is always different. No permanent paths, always new ones. It's just a training field for students in our academy. There's a girl from priestry school who used to come to Trigger Woods a few times searching for the perfect tree, a personal tree, every time she would come back saying that none of the tree was up to her taste. One day she decides to plant her own tree, her own personal tree she would love and cherish. The tree actually started to grow only downwards. Yes, it put roots, but the crown into the soil. That girl still. another story. There was a boy from necromancy school who wanted to read other people's minds so badly. I didn't know this boy personally, but a 
everybody in the school knows this story. So he was praying to this plant in Trigger Woods. A plant that he thought could grant him these abilities. And it happened. No one knows how and when he started reading other people's minds, but people say that he couldn't handle it. He got that plant he was praying to, left the academy, and became a hermit. No one ever saw him again. Not all stories are so sad. Trigger Woods is a place favored not only by students, but by a lot of teachers. There's a professor who loved watering trees. Every time he would take his watering can, a heavy rain would start and do the job for him. At first, the professor was very disappointed, but eventually 